Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do an example using Darcy's Law. So, in this question, we would, this is a contraption, maybe something like you'd set up in a lab. You're going to have water flowing through these tubes, through this sample of soil, and out the other end. Okay, and you, we're going to be using this contraption to be able to find K, the, proportionality, the coefficient of proportionality of this soil. Okay, so we know Darcy's Law stated that Q equals Ka dh on dl. Okay, so we're just going to find Qa dh and dl, and then we can rearrange this equation to get k. So first up, Q. So we've been given that it takes 10 seconds for one centimeter cubed of water to flow through here. So the flow rate is simply going to be one centimeter cubed on 10 seconds, which is 0 0.1 centimeters cubed per second. So there's our flow rate. Now, dh on dl, the hydraulic gradient, okay? So we're going to have to find the head at point A and the head at point B and see the change in head. So the head at point A. So we know head equals Z plus the, po the pore water pressure over the gamma of W, over the uh, unit weight of water, right? So before we even start, we have to define a datum. So that's to put our datum at the bottom here. Okay, it's just convenient to do that because we're given all the values going to this base. So, the head at A, it's one meter above the datum, so Z is one, plus, now because this would be constant flow, so this would all be filled with water, we actually develop a pressure of water at A due to the hydrostatic pressure. So because we're two meters below the surface at A, this pressure has this is, there's a pressure buildup of water. Now we know that pressure equals rho GZ. So that's hydrostatic pressure, which is the same as gamma Z. Okay. So in our case, the pore water pressure will be gamma Z, which is 9.81 times by the depth. So we're two meters down from the top, right? So it's times two on the gamma of water, and the gamma of water is 9.81, okay? So they're just going to cancel, which means we're going to be left with 1 plus 2, which is 3 meters. Okay, so that's the head at A. The head at B, now because this water is taking its time to flow through, it's going to be like um, just dribbling out this end, okay? So there's actually going to be no buildup of pressure due to the water. The only thing that's going to cause flow is the, the elevation. So the head at B is Z plus the pore water pressure on gamma W. As we just concluded, there's no pore water pressure because it's just dribbling out. So there's, there's no buildup of pressure due to water. There's just an elevation of 0 0.5 meters above our datum. Okay? Which means we can find dh the change in head we just use absolute values you just want to know the absolute value so it's 3 minus 0.5 which is 2.5 meters okay now we can find dl which is the change in length from a to b which is simply 2 meters so dl equals 2 meters which means we can find dh on dl the hydraulic gradients so dh is 2.5 on DL, which was 2. And if we work this out, 2.5 divided by 2, we get 1.25. Just also keep in mind that the units have to be consistent. 2.5 meters on 2 meters will cancel out just to give us a number of 1.25. So we have DH and DL, we have Q. Um, the last thing we need is the area. So the area which this passes through, the area of this cylinder. So we're going to assume it's a cylinder. Its diameter is 10 centimeters, which means that the area will be pi by r squared, where r is 5 squared. Okay, and this is obviously in centimeters. So pi by 5 squared is 78.5 centimeters squared. Okay, so now we have A equals 78.5 centimeters squared. We have dh on dl equals 1.25. And we have Q 
equals 0 0.1 centimeters cubed per second. Just again, just be consistent with units. I'm dealing with centimeters and seconds. DH and DL is unitless. So we know Q equals KA DH on DL, which means K equals Q on A D times DH on DL. So if we sum everything in, Q is 0 0.0.1 on top of A, which is 78.5, times the H on DL, which is 1.25. So if we work this out, 0.1 divides 78.5 by 1.25, we get 0 0.00102 centimeters per second. So our K, our coefficient of proportionality, 0.0102 centimeters per second. Okay, I'm just quickly going to do another example. So we have this cylinder. So let me just get the focus. We have this cylinder. Okay, the pressure at, well, actually, you no know one, I'm going to do this in the next video. Please check out the next video to see this second example on how to use Darcy's law.